hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's topic i'll be telling you those different signs and symptoms that if you are currently pregnant and you haven't yet done an ultrasound or maybe you are wondering what is actually the sex of the baby you are carrying definitely this video is for you i'm going to be telling you some of those old wife feels some of those myths many people they are always talking about that if you have these signs if you have these symptoms definitely you are pregnant for a baby boy so i'm going to be telling you all of that in this video if this is your first time watching me please kindly subscribe turn on the notification bell and don't also forget to share these videos with others my name is Nay Yvonne. Welcome to my channel. So in today's topic, I'll be talking about the different signs and symptoms that you can easily use them to determine if you are pregnant for a baby boy and you haven't yet gone for ultrasound and you are wondering. So in today's topic, we are all about Team Blue. That is, if you can see here, I'm putting on my blue and we are here to talk about those signs and symptoms that if you have them properly, you are going to give birth to a baby boy. So these are just myths. These are just old wife tales. So all of these things have not been scientifically proven. So if after watching this video and you haven't yet done ultrasound, don't actually determine the sex of the baby you are carrying is definitely going to be a boy. Kindly go for an ultrasound so you will be able to determine the exact sex of the baby you are carrying. And one thing I also want to say about this video is that a, a, a baby whether a boy or a girl it's a gift from God so irrespective of the sex there is no problem so no matter what you have just be grateful and thank God for giving you a baby definitely you know there are many people outside still struggling either to have a baby and it has been impossible for them so let's go into it so the first sign I'll be telling you about is morning sickness so if you are pregnant for a baby boy and your morning sickness is so intense so severe if you are currently pregnant right now or if you had been pregnant before and your morning sickness was so intense so severe probably you are pregnant for a baby boy but if your morning sickness is light it's not that intense you are not vomiting too much and you can go along with your daily activities definitely you might be carrying a baby girl so if you're pregnant and you're very weak and you are vomiting a lot and your morning sickness is so intense definitely you might probably be carrying a baby boy so the next point i'll be talking about is the heartbeat when you go for your gynecologist appointment and most of the times they check the heartbeat of the baby you are carrying if the heartbeat of the baby it's usually very low know that probably you are carrying a baby boy and if the heartbeat is high definitely you are carrying a baby girl so those are some of the myths that most of the times they will tell you or maybe from the old wife tales so if you go for your gynecologist appointment or for those that have given birth before to a baby boy or those that are currently pregnant now kindly check the heartbeat of the baby if the heartbeat of the baby was slow know that definitely you are probably pregnant for a baby boy so the next sign i'll be talking about will be your mood swing yes this is a characteristic that among african community many mothers they will say you see as she's pregnant like that if her attitude is kind of welcoming she's nice she's not having too much mood swing they will say that lady is pregnant for a baby boy but in the case of a baby girl most of the times the mood swing will be usually intense like she will at one minute she's happy the next minute she's not happy she's angry her attitudes keep changing on and off on and off meaning she is equally pregnant for a baby girl but someone who is pregnant and having a very nice attitude so welcoming and you will hardly have that kind of attitude change all the time it means that person is pregnant for a baby boy so if you are currently pregnant right now please kindly comment below how is your mood swing is it changing on and off or you just have a very welcoming kind of attitude so please kindly comment below let us know if you are carrying a baby boy or a baby girl these are just means like i said before they haven't been scientifically proven but i know just due to curiosity many people they are just wondering what can be the sex of the baby i'm carrying they are curious they want to know the sex of their baby before even going for ultrasound so 
definitely you are in the right video let's do this together the next sign will be the energy for those that are pregnant for baby boys most of the times they tend to be so weak they don't have the strength to do anything they are always sick they are always lying on the bed and for those that are carrying a baby girl most of the times they tend to be so energetic you will not even know the person is pregnant she tend to gain more energy she can do her normal daily chores and still be fine but for those that are pregnant for a baby boy they tend to be so weak in the morning they are just sleeping they cannot even move they just tend to lie most of the times keep sleeping they don't really have the strength as compared to those that are pregnant for a baby girl so if you are someone that have given birth to both a baby boy and a baby girl please kindly comment below how was your strength during when you were pregnant for your baby boy how were you feeling how was your strength were you so energetic or maybe for the baby girl you were instead more energetic so please kindly comment below let's know if this myth is actually true so the next i'll be talking about will be the color of the urine i don't know how some people they really take close details for such kind of small things like that so some people will say if you are pregnant for a baby boy the color of your urine is going to be much darker I don't know so they will also say if you are pregnant for a baby girl the color of your urine will be very light that one I really don't know so kindly check if you are currently pregnant right now or if when you were pregnant for your baby boy or maybe your baby girl and you actually check you took time to check the color of your urine kindly comment below was the one for the baby boy much darker as compared to the one for the baby girl so that is it this is just another myth that people will be talking about. The next I will be telling you is the linear nigra. This linear nigra is usually the dark line that is being drawn on your stomach when you are pregnant. So people will say if you are carrying a baby boy, the linear nigra will be very dark. And most of the times it will start from the bottom of your stomach coming right through to your belly button and past your belly button coming also right up. So it starts from the bottom of your stomach coming right through above your belly button. But if you are carrying a baby girl, this line is just going to, it will not be really as dark as compared to someone who is carrying a baby boy. And it's going to just start from the bottom of your um, belly coming right through to their belly button and it's not going to go above your belly button so that's what many people will see so if you are someone who have had a baby boy before and a baby girl or if you are someone who is currently pregnant right now and you have done ultrasound or maybe you have not done ultrasound please if you are watching this video kindly comment below let's know if actually this particular myth it's really true okay so the next point i'll be talking about is your body texture most of the times people will say for those that are pregnant for a baby boy they tend to have a very dull appearance and most of the times they are muddy their complexion tend to be very dull as compared to those that are pregnant for a baby girl they say when you are pregnant for a baby girl you tend to glow you are shining the texture of your skin is so smooth things like that but for a baby boy you tend to be so dull for some people they even develop acne on their face and uh, complexion become dull and also their body becomes so dry so tell me if you are currently pregnant right now or if you have had both a boy and a girl how was the color how was the texture of your skin did you glow during your pregnancy or you were you were looking dull during your pregnancy so kindly comment below let's know if also this myth it's actually true the next i'll be talking about is your hair texture for those that are pregnant for a baby boy most of the times your hair texture is never that it's not usually affected that much their hair will grow normal and still be thick or looking the way it was before they got pregnant but for those that are pregnant for a baby girl most of the times their hair texture is going to be lighter it's going to fall off especially the front part of their hair it's going to cut and even stop growing so all of that it's going to affect your hair so when you start seeing those kind of signs and uh, you haven't yet done ultrasound there is a possibility you might be pregnant for a baby girl with respect to this myth but if your hair is still okay it's not falling out and it's growing normally and nothing has happened to it and the texture is still good like the way it used to be before 
probably you are carrying a baby boy so this is another myth for this one particularly i had an experience with a friend of mine when she was pregnant for her baby girl like the front part of her hair was completely cut off it's like someone took something and trimmed off her hair until i went the first time when i saw her after a long while without seeing her i had to ask her like girl what happened with the front part of your hair before she told me that was what she experienced so if you had been pregnant before maybe for a baby boy and a baby girl please kindly comment below or if you are currently pregnant right now and uh, your hair texture is still good please kindly comment below let's know if this myth actually is true or if you are experiencing these things that others also experience the next one i'll be talking about is the position of the tummy so many people they tend to say that if you're pregnant for a baby boy your tummy will be down and if you're pregnant for a baby girl your tummy will be right up that's just beneath your booth so i don't really know look at the picture of your maternity when you were pregnant maybe for your baby boy or your baby girl or if you are currently pregnant right now kindly check is the position of your tummy right down or is it right up if it's right down according to this myth there is a probability maybe you are definitely going to give birth to a baby boy okay so the next also i'll be talking about is the craving of sweet things for those that are pregnant for baby boy most of the times they don't like sweet things that much but for those that are pregnant for baby girl they tend to go for a lot of sweet things like they just love it they want to be eating sweet things over and over so if you are currently pregnant right now and you don't really crave for sweet things like ice cream candies and the rest there is a high probability maybe you are pregnant for a baby boy as respect to this myth but if you are craving for many sweet things definitely maybe you are probably pregnant for a baby girl so I said this before these are not scientifically proven right now these are just me or wife tales I'm talking about so kindly comment below if when you were pregnant or if you are currently pregnant and definitely you are not craving for sweet things your thirst both are not craving for sweet things definitely maybe you are pregnant for a baby boy so next point I'll be talking about is their ability to perceive scent so for those that are pregnant for a baby boy, they can easily perceive scent as compared to those that are pregnant for a baby girl. Like most of the times, people will use the, a cloth of garlic. You know, a cloth of garlic has this very strong kind of scent. So if you are pregnant for a baby boy, most of the times, even if you are, if someone eats garlic or if someone is in the kitchen um, working with garlic or peeling garlic, they can easily perceive the scent even without seeing the garlic itself. But for those that are pregnant for a baby girl, their scent, their, their perception of scent, it's very low. So most of the times they cannot really perceive scent as compared to those that are pregnant for baby boy. So if you can eat a glove of garlic without actually perceiving the scent, meaning you're pregnant for a baby girl, but if you can easily perceive the scent of a glove of garlic, definitely you are pregnant for a baby boy with respect to this myth remember these are just myths and old wife tales i keep repeating this most of these have not been scientifically proven but most of the times when you ask a lot of ladies that have been pregnant for baby boys before these are the things they are going to tell you these are the things they will tell you they experience and right here we are talking about team blue which are for the boy if you have been watching right up to this point and you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for please kindly subscribe and don't forget also to click the share button and share it with others there might be other mothers there that are currently pregnant and they want to also know the sex of their baby or they are wondering or maybe they haven't yet gone for ultrasound they are wondering they want to know the sex of their baby kindly share it this video might be fun for them they might equally like the video or maybe they might equally be experiencing most of these myths and old wife tales in this in this um, video so the very last point i'll be talking about is dream so some people believe the people around you if they sit and they dream that you are pregnant for a baby girl or if you yourself you dream that you are pregnant for a baby girl definitely you are probably going to give birth to a baby boy and if you dream about the fact that you are carrying a baby girl definitely it's instead the opposite meaning you'll be carrying a baby boy and vice versa so that's those these are some of the myths that many people around they believe in and just kindly comment below let's know 
if actually you experience any of this means at my job site i did a lot of research also with some of the ladies there who got pregnant and uh, some of them like 50 percent or 60 percent most of them experience some of these things for some people it might be different remember people have different body signs and symptoms the things that i'm going to experience might not be the same things you are going to experience so so these are the points i've given if you are still wondering what is the sex of your baby just kindly watch this video go through the point watch from the beginning to the end and kindly comment below if you experience any of this and for all the ladies who are currently pregnant right now i'm wishing you a less stressful pregnancy and also a successful delivery i love you all and stay safe delivery ciao